Who is the shark? A self-destructive comedian investor worth not that much money. Steven Spinola, son of the New York State Supreme Court judge that does not find him funny, founded a website where he put his own face on pornos. He's one of the world's biggest dumb dumbs. Welcome everybody to Shark Tank. Not to be confused with the popular television show Shark Tank, starring Mark Cuban and Mr. Wonderful and that lady from QVC. <laughs> That's so sexist of me to not know her name. Uh, the, but the other people are just more memorable. Her name's Lori. Okay. I've never really watched the show, but Mark Cuban's like a celebrity in his own right, and Mr. Wonderful is just a name you would remember. It's a great name. It's a great name. I don't even know his name. That's true. I only know that his name is Mr. Wonderful. Anyway, black guy, he started Fuji. He's the other one. <laughs> right now you're getting into the now. territory of, <laughs> I only remember the white people the that U are dudes. <laughs> the Ukrainian kid, right? Isn't that what he is? Ukrainian I really only watched this show once or, or twice. Croatian. Anyway. I'm here with my special guest, Robbie Bernstein. Robbie, thank you so special, much for being Special, but not here. in a retarded way. I want to get that <laughs> clear right off the bat. Yes, not in a retarded way. Well, the show is pretty retarded, Robbie. I don't know <laughs> if you've heard the origin of the show, The Shark Tank. For new listeners, I'm sorry, old listeners, you've heard it a thousand times. The Shark Tank is a diaper with a chocolate milk carton inside of it. You put a silly straw, which is a long straw that has loops and fun things. It goes, maybe you wear it as glasses. And then you suck it in. It looks like you're sucking in your own diarrhea. People think that you're drinking your diarrhea. Can we take diarrhea. like nine steps back here to make sure I understand this? So we started with a baby diaper. It's not a baby diaper. It's an adult diaper. Oh, it's an adult diaper. And you wear it while you're drinking out of it? Or a baby can use it. That's funny. That's even funnier. A kid <laughs> or a baby using a toddler diaper with a right. chocolate milk carton in the back. So in other a words, silly straw. it's like a gag gift where you can go out in public, make it look like you're wearing a diaper, be sucking on a straw... And it looks like you're drinking your own shit, but it's really chocolate milk. That's it. There's nothing retarded about that. That That's is the best goddamn <laughs> idea I've ever heard in my whole life. Thank you, you so much. You should have some confidence in this. Thank you. I mean, I'm the only person who wants to buy it so far, but you would you like one? I mean, if I can go, I think it would be funny for like a man on the street kind of thing. Like you just walking around, it looks like you're drinking your own diarrhea. I think. Oh my funny. god. Okay, if you'll help me film that, will you? I mean, I'll be the guy drinking his own diarrhea. You would do that. Can you imagine just sitting down, like you just, you're like a dude just sitting on the subway with a straw, and it's clear, <laughs> and it clearly is like brown, and it's just a well, tube I did that a goes video. to his that's ass. This, that's what this show is. In the beginning of this show, right, right before we just started talking, the viewers just saw that already. Oh, uh, it's disgusting. Now, let me ask you, why wasn't I aware of this? Like, how did this not hit the internet where I didn't wake up the next morning, read the Wall Street Journal, front page, someone makes diarrhea diaper with chocolate milk. Now, let me well, ask you this. we need to make a better video. That's Hold why. On. You need to help me collab. We need to collab. I, I'm, I'm on board. Robbie's World or whatever it is. Are we making our own chocolate milk here? Or is it just like, because I feel like we should have a high grade chocolate milk in this baby diaper. Hershey's, Hershey's, baby. Dark now, Her chocolate. Nah, Hershey's like... I feel like as a kid, you get all excited for it. Like, it's fun. We're going to mix this together. What's your mix game, by the way? No, it's a, in a milk carton. It's a little box, a chocolate milk box. Oh. So it's easy. You put a straw inside of it. No, I feel like there's got to be, you know, like they make like those things for like hiding boozes in like your suit jacket. I feel like there's got to be a compartment it's within this. It's very simple. It's easy. There's already a compartment. They made it. It holds chocolate milk. You put a straw in it. You no, just but I tape wanted to that make it to the look... inside of the diaper. So, it's but then that could be hard to sit on. I feel like you're gonna end up with you're smushing a carton. You don't sit. You have to stand up. Got to stand. Always so I'm already standing. thinking of the 2.0 model. Hear me out here. <laughs> I've already upgraded what you envisioned. You can get the, the thing lined. You got to get it like a little bit thicker. But you can get the thing lined so on the inside there's like you know a compartment where you're filling up with chocolate milk. That way, this is a fully functional diaper. You can walk around and you could spend your whole day in it. You could sit down, but there'll always be chocolate milk there. Why couldn't you have the chocolate milk in the front? Make it look like you got a big dick and chocolate milk. Eh, you didn't mention the big sit. dick part. I'm all for it now. You can sit all you want. But how would a how would a milk carton look like unless you're going like a plastic one? It's not going to look like a big dick. I'm thinking of like an old school like cardboard one no you're thinking like a big carton like when we were kids no yeah it's like the new kind it's like a, it's like a juice box except it's just got chocolate milk in it very simple all right little rectangle so that's the shark tank that's this that's the okay I, that, that is, was the the product to be beat well that's <laughs> <laughs> well that's true it is the product to be beat it's the right. product that invented the show okay 
So then there's also the Kaknishi wash, a standing cock washer unit. There's the wake up right, a bed that is. Oh, you want to go back to the Kaknishi wash? Is that for like after sex? You can wash your dick. You already get it. It's You're like a, a smart man. You don't need any explanation. <laughs> it's like you a bird get bath, it. but for your dick. That's right. That's a great idea too. The wake up right. It's a bed that is an alarm clock. You press the snooze button. Are you guilty of that? Fuck yeah. Everybody is. So now when you press the snooze button, all of a sudden your bed starts sliding (laughs) up the wall, going upright (laughs) until you are standing up straight. Funnier to me would be if you press it, it just slingshots you like a fucking Well, someone already made that, and that would definitely be dangerous. So is the wake up right still dangerous? There's still a lot of things we need to work on with that. Virtual reality. You like that? I mean, sure, as a concept, I haven't spent enough time with... I haven't really experienced a lot of virtual reality. I would love to put you in virtual reality today. I had to take it all down because I got to go work with it tomorrow in another office. Right. But virtual reality, you also like drugs, don't you? Yeah. So virtual reality and drugs for people who don't like to do drugs. I don't get why if you didn't like to do drugs, the virtual reality would make it better. Because you want to try it, but you don't want to actually do it. Oh, so the virtual reality simulates what a drug experience would be? Boom, exactly. Well, I'll tell you what would be much cooler. Like, what you see in the movie is as being like a mushroom or acid trip seems like the coolest thing in the world. Like, those amazing visuals. And that doesn't really, from my experience with drugs, exist. I would love a virtual reality where I could walk around. It would be like my daily life, like everything, but with that kind of hallucinogenic properties where like faces are melting, things are crawling on walls, well, I think that's bright the colors. Idea. I think you can just do real drugs and go into the virtual reality drugs too and you, it would enhance it even more. I love it. It's great. Also, VR drunk driving. Don't okay. you want to drunk drive? You go into VR, you I don't, drink as I feel many like fake boozes as you want, get one, as go- googie That one I don't like at all. I've had like so that? many nightmares of like drunk driving. I hate, like that's like a bad nightmare to me. Okay, well, then that's very. You never had that nightmare the, when you're like in a car and like you just you're like drunk. No, uh, you... it's a horrible nightmare. You're a weirdo. Okay. It's also the one where you're in the back seat. You've never had that nightmare. No. What oh, is that this? one's brutal too. What are these fucking? Continue. I don't want to <laughs> throw off your jam. I was on board with two out of the three things so far, though. That was pretty good. <laughs> okay, how about the alcoholer? It's a mug that is pre-recorded things that you and your friends holler. So when you go drinking alone, you press the top of the mug. Boom, it yells things with you. So when people are telling you to stop drinking, you have someone who's yelling with you at them. I feel like that would just get you into fights every time you went out. It's a lot of fun. It's like you're you're your own hype man so that when you're over the top drunk, you still don't think you're over the top drunk. (coughs) I think it's great. Okay. The walking GPS for people who are walkers and not drivers. So you walk, right? You don't drive. Wouldn't you like to have the Waze app? Do you know the Waze app? Sure. It tells you where there's cops, when there's hazards on the road. Oh, there's a Love it. object in the middle of the road. How about now you're walking on the sidewalk? Object in the middle Dog of the sidewalk. Shit. Poop in the sidewalk. There's uh, ladies with strollers taking up the whole sidewalk up ahead. Right. Guy asking for 350 up ahead. I love the, the concept of we're telling you where the cops are. That's pretty great. And that too. Right. The bralette wallet. It's bra-let a wallet. it's a bra with it's a wallet for ladies. The wet strong. It's okay. a it's a it's a restaurant that is all wet. It's a it's you go inside <laughs> and you you are uh, like vagina wet or like uh, no like, like <laughs> what kind of wet like are we talking? Tools. Like you go in a hot tub. That's your right. table. Your table's in the middle of a hot tub. Okay. How cool is that? Well, I'm a fat guy, so I would hate that. Like if people told me like they were going there for, I'd have to somehow get out of it. But I, I, I see the appeal. If you're a good looking dude, I get why like, hey, we're going to the place with the hot tubs. That would be awesome. You get like chicks out, you know, and you're not being a creep. You're just taking them out for dinner. But if you're me, that's the end of a good evening. You have to somehow get out of there. Like yeah, that. absolutely. Oh, man. That's or you, or you gotta, get to still pull that little kid move. You're like, oh, shit, I fell in with my shirt. Oh, I guess I'll keep it on God. now. Holy <laughs> smoke How about grind? Were you never fat? No, I was not. Oh, so you never experienced I this. Never experienced you should put it. on some weight just so you can experience just that. So can, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a real part of life. <laughs> My girlfriend's trying to get me to put on weight. I'm trying Why? to put on weight. It's not easy. It's I want to be more thick. I want to be I want to be a man. Well, it's not easy. Work out. You don't want to just get fat. That doesn't well, I don't want to just get fat. Make you a I trust dude. me. I can't get fat. I don't know how right. to do that. But I can't I I feel like hang I Hang out do... with me more. I'll get you fat. Okay. <laughs> you hang out with me. I promise 2 weeks, 5 pounds easy. <laughs> oh lord. I'll get you fat. <laughs> You drink beer late at night? No, I don't drink beer at all. So start there. Beer, that can help you put on some weight. I don't like beer. I think beer tastes bad. I drink all this lemonade water stuff. It's all. You're drinking the wrong beers. Beer's great. No, beer's no good. Especially if you're like a pot smoker. Nothing goes better than pot and beer. 
Ah, uh, not to me. How about grindercore? That's what goes good with pot. If you're grinder into if you're core. into grindcore music and you want to have, <laughs> oh, all, I thought that was a gay like you somehow made the gay app more hardcore. It, it, it is. It's oh. for people who like grindercore, cause right? Grindcore because it's hard to find people who like that music but also want to have an anonymous homosexual experience. <laughs> this is an idea I feel by like Evan it's Jones. It's probably not that hard. Uh, have that, you spoken? Again? I feel like if you're into something and the other thing that that's part of it is a dude. You're gonna find another like dudes are just horny. It's hard to find people that okay, are into I'll take your word music for it. and wanna and it's, it's and it's hard for gay people. I think that's why grinder was invented. I think right? Is it hard for them? No, I don't, I don't think it's hard. It's for not them. hard for them. I, I think it's just oh. anything you could do to make it's just more fun ass if, more convenient. Oh, okay, I see. no, it's just convenient. You know, well, they want to make grinder core. They want to make grind core anonymous homosexual experiences. No, let me more add, was convenient. that a straight person who came up with that? Evan Jones. I yeah, don't know. he's you not straight me. then. That was too specific of a desire. Like, if, <laughs> he was really aware of a market and felt like we needed to, you know, fill a need for them. That I'm thinking that he's looking for something kind of specific. But God bless him. I don't dislike I mean, him any more or that, less. I think that finding a very targeted market is a good part product. of it's making a good product. Okay. Now, how about this? Another idea by Evan Jones. Maybe this. Maybe this changes your mind. Maybe it supports your previous <laughs> thought. Yeah. He, he came up with the jack in the booth it's a booth where you jack off like they turn phone booths into jack off booths and right. now we fix homeless public masturbation don't i mean in times square they got places you can go and jerk off in a booth it's just expensive so really, really is that a thing oh absolutely i did not know you've that. never done that no i don't you've do never that. done that nor have you gotten fat you really haven't lived in life i haven't jerked off in a booth for it's money, really no. not that exciting <laughs> that sounds i mean terrible. you do it once just to have done it but then you're like that was a real waste of my time and money <laughs> oh, you gotta start living gosh. a little buddy not even someone else jerking you off you just jerk yourself off for money no, you watch like a live chick dance and there's like a plexiglass in between you. And she can't see you or she can. You know, it's funny. I mean, I think she can see you, but she might as well not be able to see you. Like it might as well just be a one way glass where you're watching her because right. there's really no reason for her to have to watch people jerk yeah, off wow, all that's day. That's terrible. That yeah, that's like, awful. That's not like her does bad. Yeah, if you're just like in a room being naked and like it happens to be that they're. But she puts on a little bit of a show for you. So she must be aware of the fact that, yeah, she can definitely see you. Interesting. Now, yeah. you, now it's a definite. It changed. It was, what do you it, mean? You were like, oh, maybe Oh, yeah, she, she can see. And now you're like, oh, Listen, yeah, you right. do that once and you feel really bad about yourself and you don't do it again. That's a one-time thing. <laughs> that you can do for a while. That's like a whole lifestyle you can really experience. <laughs> Jerking <laughs> off in one of those booths. You, and I think you got to do that in high school. I don't think... I think as an adult, it would be too ridiculous. You know, I, like, I feel like you missed your <laughs> being, opportunity. Being fat or doing the, the booth? No, no, you can be fat any time in your any life. Any There's life, no, like... Fat. There's no missed opportunity of okay. being fat. Okay. Uh, but on jerking off in a booth in Times Square, I feel like that's something you'd have to do in <laughs> high school. Because after high school, like, you just wouldn't be horny enough to pull it off. What if it you're would just homeless, be... though? If you're homeless, you can jerk off anywhere because that's your home. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't have a choice. Just wherever you are is your home. That's your living room. You might as well go for it. And what's the worst thing they can do? They take you to jail. You get a meal for the night. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this is horrible. Oh, Lord. How about, <laughs> would, you, would you eat? <laughs> I'm just moving on. I'm just not, no segue or anything. <laughs> would you eat gummy butts? How about a gummy bear with a big old gummy ass? Gummy butts. Are they black? I feel like they got to be black. They gotta be black. <laughs> Why do they have to be black? <laughs> How about a vacuum cleaner silencer? I also just moved on again. I just ignored your thought and I just moved on. <laughs> Am I not supposed to be comment? Was this supposed to be like a quick read? Or was I supposed to? It was to? supposed to be a quick read, oh, but my I, bad. I love your comments. I think it's very funny. There's no, thing, there's no supposed thing. There's no structure. Okay, there's no right or wrong. No right or wrong. How about a vacuum cleaner silencer? Don't you think that would change the world? Aren't you so tired of hearing when you're sleeping? When your stepmom comes in, when you're sleeping on your fucking parents' couch, it's 7 in the morning. Leah, why do you do that every goddamn morning? The va you don't need to vacuum a carpet every morning. Okay. I'm taking the vacuumer side on this, that really? if you're asleep, fuck you. At 7 in the morning? Yeah, 7's a little early. Why is anyone vacuuming at 7 at in the morning? At 7 in the morning. That's what I say. I think they just shouldn't be vacuuming then. You if hear that, Leah? Why were you vacuuming? Who the vacuuming? fuck is this Leah? She's my stepmom. It was 2010. It was six years ago. I shouldn't be... No, we should still be mad about oh, okay, this. It's good. ridiculous. I, thank you. I you know she agree. was doing it just out of spite. If you That's put, how I felt. But here's the thing. If oh, you put, God. If you put a, a silencer on the vacuum cleaner, she would have done something else to piss you off. She just was just pissing against you against off. the couch more. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Still, I would, be, I would be happier with that. And why were you sleeping on the couch? They didn't have a bed for you? They didn't have a bed. It was a bad time. I had a car accident. That's why I have a crooked hand. Longer story than we need for the podcast. Okay, no worries. 
Would you have you thought of an uh, invention to, for fixing your crooked hand? I haven't thought of that yet. They, I mean, it's gross. I'm just you imagine it. I'm kidding. I Thank didn't you. even notice it. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much. A silver glove like Michael Jackson for crooked-handed people. How about would you go on the internet and would you watch a video of a guy riding a razor scooter made of razor phones? I don't know that that would necessarily excite me. <laughs> it wouldn't excite you at all. I mean, like, if it popped up, I'd be like, okay, it's a Razor phone Razor scooter. I, I, okay, it's cool. That's cool, right? I don't know that that's a real moneymaker of a product. I don't know if it's a moneymaker, but but you think it would go viral on YouTube? Yeah, it would go viral. Okay, that's all I need. That's all I need. That's all I needed. I'm moving forward with that idea. Thank you, Bernstein. Would you put anything in your butt? What do you mean by anything? I mean, I don't even put much in my butt other than, like, it's very rare I'm putting anything in my butt other than, like, toilet paper. You put it in your butt. In I the mean, crack. Yeah, I'm not, like, shoving toilet paper on my ass. I'm not, like... Okay. Interesting. There's a product out there for people with smelly asses. Do you have a smelly ass? Ooh. I mean, I don't think I do. Are well, you telling me something I didn't realize about myself? I'm not saying that. But if you right? did, if someone told you, Robbie, you got a stanky ass after right. sex. Imagine that. She was just like, you know, I love you, but you're whole. It just smells. Right. Would you get a product to put in your butthole to make it not smell so bad? Well, I think the first step would be, I'd be like, what can I do to improve the cleanliness of my ass? Right? That would be like step right. one. Imagine if you did that. Then like if could. I did that and they were like, hey, your asshole stinks, then and maybe I'd invest like in the next level, like a bidet or like the next level of what I'd have to do doesn't for work. a cleaner Imagine ass. Imagine that doesn't work. Then if that didn't work, I'd be like, all right, what do I got to do about my stank ass? Okay. Well, here are two things you can do. There's a product already out there. It's called Sphincterine. Okay. It's like Listerine for your butthole. does right. not burn, apparently. But wouldn't you rather put one little breath mint, like a suppository, right. in your butthole called a bowel toid? A bowel toid? So I'm I'm like I'm like, I'm kind of like a nervous guy, and especially like like just clogging up. You know, I feel like sometimes I'm clogged up enough. The thought of something else taking up space in my rectum, this had to be like pretty microscopic. I feel like you would sell me more on the concept of like like uh, some sort of like a liner, like a fluid that I'm putting in there that's just gonna line okay, it. So you would rather have the sphincterine. Yeah, maybe, but, but like you're a more not permanent. It. You're just putting it up your butt. You're gonna squeeze it up your butt, squeeze the juice up your butt. Like uh, that doesn't sound pleasant either. I think you should get a bowel toid. Anyway, a bowel we're gonna, toid. We're gonna How move big forward. is the bowel toid? It's just like the size of an altoid, but a bowel toid. <laughs> but you, wait, you're gonna put something the size of an altoid in your ass and just keep it there? That seems like no, a lot. No, it'll, it'll go away. It dissolves. It dissolves. And how long is it good for? I don't know. We haven't figured the science out. Doesn't sound yet. like it's any better than the wash version then. <sighs> I don't know if it is yet, Robbie. We're going to try to... I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to be attacking you on all these. No, you can attack. You can attack. All right. All I know is that we're trying to try to sell it, and if it doesn't do better than sphincterine, it still won't matter. Oh, you might actually go ahead with Baltoid. Going to try. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know the science of making a butt smell better. If I can't figure it out, it's not going to go to market, Robbie. Okay. That's how science works. Do you know about Legos? Sure. Do you know about Legos... Becoming TV shows that kids love. I mean, like the Lego movie? Lego movie, Lego Batman, Lego Star Wars, Lego Lord of the Rings, Lego this, Lego that. How about... Did they put out a Lego that? (laughs) I don't know about Lego this or that. (laughs) How about Lego Law and Order SVU? There's not enough rape in Legos. Okay. I'm into it. You're into it. Good. That's all we need. Sunglasses that have a clip-on light like a reading light on the front of it so you can wear them at nighttime and you have a reason to be wearing sunglasses. (laughs) I like it. Josh Gordon, he has some great ideas. Okay. How about a syringe? What is this? It says you shoot up coffee. I don't know about that. I don't know if we like that idea. I don't know why I wrote that down, you guys. We're not going to shoot up coffee. How about a placard for your bathroom door that says shark shed? Shark shed. Just like two pieces of plywood that says shark shed in spray paint. Would you buy that? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. Fair enough. How about 
How many pieces of toilet paper do you use? Sometimes a lot. It, it really depends on the situation. Have you ever clogged the toilet because you use too much toilet paper? Not often. But you've done it. Yeah, but it might have just been the size of the shit. I don't know if we could really pinpoint it as being you, the toilet you, paper. Come on. What do you mean? Shit dissolves. Nah, you, you've never been a fat guy. Once again, <laughs> these are the moments in life that you've never enjoyed. And one of those moments is sometimes you take a shit big enough, it clogs the toilet. I can't even imagine that. Oh, it happens. Well, I mean, like once every four or five years. It's not like a frequent. Okay, frequent listen, occurrence. Then, listen, you're not the type of person who could use only four sheets. No, you have to have really eaten a magical meal that you end up with like a no wiper, which is very rare. Very rare. No, no, I'm, but I'm saying on average, you couldn't use just four sheets, could you? Not unless I was turning it into origami. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many sheets are you using? I don't count. I don't want to know. You don't want to know? No, no, no. I don't want to. I well, don't, what if you I want... don't go in there with my accountant like, <laughs> let's quantify exactly how many piece of toilet paper am I using here? But what if you could save money on toilet paper by having a toilet, an automatic toilet paper dispenser? No, no, no. Horrible idea. I oh, hate this. Idea. You hate it? I hate this. No, I don't want to be rationed on my toilet paper. Okay. Sometimes you need more. Sometimes you need less. There's a free market for how much <laughs> toilet paper I got to use on any given bowel movement. There's no standard amount of what's going to work. That is ridiculous. I think. I'm leaving right now. <laughs> 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 Suggesting to me. What happens like if you end up with some real sloppy, horrible diarrhea? You had Chinese food. Then you went out for donuts. Then you ate something too oily. You come home the next morning and it is horrible. I remember once reading a story at this aside point they made like this pringles and it had like this chemical in it this dude uh, you gotta look this up on uh it was like a craigslist some guy posted about how he just couldn't get his ass clean for like a long time but the point is they put really bad chemicals into food sometimes it's not that easy to get clean let's say you're over at someone else's house they ration you to what's not enough toilet paper for what you need to use what yeah. are you gonna do use your socks take a shower i hate this idea Okay, that's we have. That's your input, I guess. You hate this idea. That's fair. was that the idea though? Is rationing the amount of toilet paper? Well, it's just an automatic toilet paper dispenser that has an iPhone charger in it and an iPhone holder on top. So you go to the bathroom, put your iPhone in the holder, charge your iPhone. You you go to the bathroom, you wave your hand in front of it, it comes out as many toilet papers as you preset. It can be five sheets, it can be ten sheets. But why do you have to ration the amount of toilet paper you're going to use? Kids just roll out the toilet paper. When you have kids, Robbie, they're going to just put a so whole... It's for kids, gonna... so it's not for me. It's for you, for kids, oh, fuck and, kids. For, and for people who just want to save money. Kids have shitty asses. I'm okay with that. <laughs> you don't, don't like to save about money? Kids shitty ass. What? You don't like to save money? Not when it comes to something like toilet paper. If you got to be cheap about toilet paper, you got to go out and make more money. That's it. Okay, that's fair enough. Well, Robbie, you've heard the ideas in the Shark Tank... Are you ready to pitch your own? I am. I wish you gave me this list before, and I would have upped my game. I would have been like, wow, some dope-ass ideas have been pitched. I better <laughs> sit down, gather my marketing team, do some forensics, <laughs> some analytics, find uh, out what I, the marketplace I just, wants. I just gave you a chance to rethink any of your ideas that you don't want to pitch. Well, I definitely have a couple that I'm pitching. And okay. by the way, these are money makers beyond anything you just mentioned so well, i'm pretty sure it. you're gonna come through with a sizable investment okay good i'm glad let's hear it okay so my first product is um i have uh you have any friends who sorry are, before you yeah. pitch can you just give yourself a little bit of a background and introduction be like oh i'm robbie bernstein sure come from here my parents did this this is why i've been inspired to be an entrepreneur blah 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 like oh go okay think. right i've never really watched it but okay <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go for it you ready Wait, so like I'm pitching you now on liking me enough to pitch you on my product? You're pitching the audience without me. You're, imagine I'm not here. Oh, there's like a whole crowd of people. Yep. Okay, here we go. Can I make up like a story like all like a whole bunch of people have like cancer and shit? No, don't do that. Oh, okay. Just say you. But Just I want the crowd to like me. No, you can't lie because if they find out you're lying, Oh, then they hate like you. you. Right, right. Okay, good point. Um, Hello, crowd. <laughs> No, don't speak to them. Like I'm not just sure speaking to the audience. No, it's not a live audience. It's a it's a TV audience. Imagine a live TV audience. Oh, you mean like at home people. they're gonna watch me later? And they're watching on a sitcom, and they're like, right, right, whatever. okay. It's not a sitcom. But... Hey, you sitting by your couch watching the TV? My name's Rob Bernstein, and I'm from Stanford, Connecticut. My dad's a lawyer. My mom's a paralegal. They really like to argue. Me. I just like to help people, and that's why I sit down every night when I get home after a long days of work, and I try and think of products that will make your life better. 
And that's why I'm here to pitch some of my products that I think are going to improve people's lives. We're happy to have you, Robbie. Can you give me your first idea? Absolutely. I have a, a couple of friends who are diabetics. You got any friends who are diabetics? No. Okay. Well, I have some friends that are diabetics. I don't and... have a lot of friends. Okay. Well, that'll be my next product. We'll improve your, your friends. We're going to get you some <laughs> friends. Um, but uh, my first product is I got a bunch of friends who are diabetics, and I think it's bullshit that diabetics get all the insulin. You know, like, why don't me and you get some insulin? Like, my friends, they get to eat all the sugary products that they want. Then they take insulin. It helps them digest all those sugary products. So now, I'm sure you've taken Adderall in your life, right? Adderall? Yeah. No, I don't do Adderall. Why not? Not into that type of stuff. You've never been fat. You've never taken Adderall or jerked off in a booth. I don't know. And I don't drink coffee. No wonder you don't have any friends. That's why. (laughs) Because you haven't lived in life. (laughs) You've got no experiences to relate to the common man. But let's stick with my product here, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. So, I don't need Adderall, but you take Adderall, it's amazing. So, what I know of, I know that there are drugs out there that help people, that they're just, they're not just giving it to us. And I'm thinking, insulin is one of those drugs. And here's the proof. Bodybuilders, they take a shit ton of insulin. Really? And does anyone look better than bodybuilders? Why, no. Why do they take insulin? It helps them uh, retain mass. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, they do it. Like, um, even more so than uh than like the steroids. They take insulin. Wow, I didn't know that. That's yeah, gross. Yeah, it helps them uh, build muscle, put on size. Ew, that's gross. Ew, ew, ew. I don't like that. I don't like any needle things. So well, anyway, here's the thing. So what is your product? I that's don't the that's the funnest part about this is when you're overeating, you get to have more of a drug ritual to it. Cause like when you're sitting down and you're gonna eat like a whole bunch of cookies, like that's already indulgent and fun. But you don't get like that heroin experience of like all the prep. So now you get to take insulin with it to process it. But I'm going to do you one better. We're not just giving people insulin. We're going to put fiber in the insulin, and we're going to call it finsulin. That way, you get insulin, helps you process all the sugar that you're taking. But you have to, you have to inject it? Fuck yeah, you got to inject oh, it. I don't like it. I hate it. I hate the idea of not investing. What's wrong with injecting to you? hate it. Hate it. Y- you seem to have a fear of needles. I do. I have a serious, irrational fear of and needles. And what is your fear of needles? Don't like them. Get them okay. away from like me. Like when you Keep go to a doctor, like Pass shots. out. I cry. Pass okay. out. So if I had a version of the product without needles, it was pill-based, insulin, fiber, you take it in a pill before or after a meal, helps you stay regular, helps you get insulin, helps you digest food, helps you overeat without being a fat fuck, is that something that you would be into? Love it. Okay. I am going to work on that. I have a scientist. We have a prototype. <laughs> it's been in shop. Most of the reason why we wanted to go with the uh, needle version was it was actually going to be a pilot program where we were going to give jobs to heroin addicts where they could train the general public in how to use needles. That's interesting. So it's kind of like a charity type thing. You know, I think it's great. I'm just, it's just not for me. Because you just don't like the needles. I hate it. I'm going to have to pass on the needles. No, no. So we got we got rid of the needle version. But I like. I still like where you're going with the needles. I think you should keep the needles. I think I'm just not the right investor for you on this product. But what about on the pill version? Pill version, I might invest in it. Come back to me when you have that. All right. Is that it? That's it for your first product. On the whole product? That's it. Wow. Okay, cool. If this was Shark Tank, you would walk out crying right now, or you would start yelling and telling me I'm making the biggest mistake of my life. Well, you are making the biggest mistake of your life. (laughs) I mean, I just pitched you gold, and you were like, needles, I'm out. That's how the Shark Tank works. Okay. I guess it's your money. You get to decide. Yeah. How much money's on the line right now? Do I get to walk away with anything? No. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. All right. Next product. <laughs> you ready for this? I'm going for a real product here. I'm I'm I can't wait. Okay. You ever use a bungee cord? Never. In your whole fucking life? What have you done? No, for what? I've used it on my R V when I had an R V. I used okay. a bungee cord. Yeah. And do you ever find it was annoying? Finding the right size bungee cord. I thought you were talking about like bungee jumping, and I say no, I would never. Well, of course not. You're a pussy. You don't like needles. You're not going like bungee needles, jumping. Don't like bungee jumping. I could tell your whole personality just off of that <laughs> needle react, <laughs> react, react, reaction. Being interesting anytime soon. I get it. You're staying at home. You're smoking pot. You don't even like beer. Most unadventurous human being ever. How do you not drink coffee? Because I, I just don't like it. I don't know. I don't think it feels good when I. I drink it when I drive, and I'm driving really long. Okay, so you like caffeine, just you typically don't need it. I don't drink it ever except on um, really long drives. Like if, if I'm driving like, like if it's 10 2 a.m.? Or just a long drive? Really long drive and I'm getting tired. Right, and, but, but you find that it does stimulate you. It doesn't stimulate me. It just keeps me awake. Right, so why don't you like that feeling all the time? 
I don't want to be awake. I want to you don't want to be more awake. You want to go to bed. I want to go to bed. I get that. <laughs> I overdo it on coffee. I'm like a fucking maniac. <laughs> like, wait, I, I don't know. I guess, yeah. We're, we're getting off topic here. We are getting off topic We're on the next here. topic here. What is? What am I missing here? Bungee cords. Bungee cords. That's right. Okay. When you were trying to use a bungee cord, did you find sometimes it wasn't that easy to find the right size bungee cord for what you were trying to tie down? I guess. It's very annoying. They come in all sorts of sizes. You got to try and find the right size. And if it's not tight enough, your shit's going to fall off. If it's too loose, you got a problem. And if it's too small, you can end up with that situation where the thing can fly back, hit you in the face. Oh, my God. Very dangerous. dangerous. I'm thinking of a product called Better Bungee. Very simple. Instead of just connecting the bungees on the two ends, we can get things on the body of the bungee that you can attach the hooks to. That way, one size fits all bungee fucking game changer kind of like that snap hat it's not just a hat that only people with big heads or small heads can wear it's a one size fits all operation so it's got hooks on it for multiple sizes yes on the on the body of the bungee right now the bungee you got to connect the two ends there's nothing to hook it onto so on the body of the bungee we're going to put little hooks you can hook it to any anywhere a multiple hook bungee fuck yeah they don't have that already no interesting i'm gonna pat on this when i leave that's an interesting idea. It's I the best idea you. anyone's ever had. Hey, man. Multiple hook bungee. Multi-hook bungee. Better bungee. Fuck yeah. How do you spell bungee? B-U-N-G-E-E? I always thought it was B-U-N-J-Y, but I'm wrong, <laughs> so I could be way wrong on that. <laughs> well, better bungee. It's a good name, too. Welcome to Shark Tank, baby. You just pitched a product that I am investing in. Fuck yes. I don't know when and I don't know how, but we are doing it. Yeah, we're going to get some investors. That's it. That's how it works. Shark Tank. Do you now just own my good idea? Is that it? I think so. I I I just gave it it to you. You stole it. You know you flushed your money (laughs) down the toilet, and then that's Shark Tank. (laughs) You have anything else? Those are all your pitches? No, I got another idea. Oh, that's great. I thought you told me to come in with three. Oh, buddy. That's great. Keep going. I would have had a thousand of these if I knew I was supposed to just come and rattle them off. All right. I don't know if you ever had this. You're like a girlfriend guy, right? I am a girlfriend guy. That's cool, because uh, I'm not a girlfriend guy. I'm a stay-at-home kind of guy. That's me. Okay, yeah. And every once in a while, I think to myself, you know, a hooker would be really nice right now. Hey. Right? But okay. then I get lazy, and I just eat pizza instead. That's smart. Right. But I'm thinking maybe we could have a pizza prostitute service. Call it something like <laughs> Pimp and Pizza. You ready for this? What I'm thinking is part of why you don't want to hire a prostitute is it's illegal. You get in trouble with the law. But let's say the pizza delivery girl was the prostitute. You're only paying her for delivering a pizza. What is a cop to say what you might do with the person who delivered you a pizza? And it might be an expensive pizza, but you can go online, right? You pick out your delivery person. You prepay quite a bit of money for the pizza. There's a premium (laughs) on this pizza. It's not going to be an $18 pizza. This lady is going to charge you a premium on her delivery service because... She's coming right to your house. She's a good-looking lady. She might charge you 200 bucks to deliver the pizza. But then at that point, she comes over. You're in, you're in the law. You paid someone for pizza delivery. And then not only do you have a prostate prostitute there you get to have sex with, but when you're done, there's pizza already there. Robbie, this is a brilliant idea. That's the best idea anyone's ever had. It's one of the best ideas That's I've ever had That's a fucking game show. changer, right? That is a game changer. Pimpin' pizza. Pimpin' pizza. Pimpin' pizza. And what I love about it is I love controversial ideas. I love ideas that are going to get a lot of bad publicity because any publicity is, good, is publicity. good publicity. Imagine if a college kid actually started out of his dorm room. That could totally make the paper. Dude. Pimpin' pizza. That would be national. That would be multinational. How do I work a shitty day job? I got great fucking Buddy, ideas. You just got to go for it more. You don't go for it enough. You have the ideas and you let them sit. And you need to. That's what this show is about. I just need about. places like this to get the good ideas trying, out of my this, head. This show, my goal with this show is to actually be able to go on Shark Tank and pitch right. an idea. I think that would be the funniest thing in the world. Pimp and pizza? That's, that's the idea not you're the idea. Show up with? That's definitely not the idea. Come on. What idea have you had up. that was better than Pimp and Pizza? The wake up, right? That bed is going to be. More than pimp and pizza? Think about the market. That's got to be for like young no, people. Pimp and pizza who will make more break. money. Yes, for sure. And aren't they about making That's money? The, no, I know they are, but they're not about. So then you say, my, I got the better. Pr- no, I'm there's a, nothing illegal about it. You're not playing for prostitution. You're paying your for pizza I delivery. I understand your loopholes, but in places where it is legal for prostitution, right. like like Las Vegas, don't you think that would be a brilliant? I feel like they'd still go for it. I feel like people would still love that. Yeah, 
I get a pizza afterward? Are you fucking kidding right. me? Right, and the you also best. don't, like, you don't feel as, like, grimy, like you're just ordering a prostitute. You feel like it's, like, a legitimate service. You know what I mean? Like, I feel and like it's still fun it really fuck. legitimizes it. I and you get to sit there and, like, browse through people dressed in pizza uniforms. And it's such a classic, like, porn trope that you feel like you're playing into that trope, like you're living TV. Exactly. Yes. Dude, I'm telling you, I, there is a market for this. Oh, my God. There's, there's a, a, there's a for legal that. porn market, legal prostitution market. Who do we have to call on a product? Like, like where's, like, the, like, See, the illegal like shark tank? Like, no, I don't the know. underground tank. It's not, it's not illegal though. In certain places, right. in some here it would be illegal. Maybe the test market could be like a Vegas, and then you start bringing it to the markets where it is illegal, but it's already <laughs> kind of like a built model. It's ready to go. I mean, you should definitely try to do this in Vegas and become a multimillionaire. Pimpin, uh, pimpin, pimpin pizza. Pimpin pizza. Are you kidding me? That that would right. be amazing. Right, especially if you actually got yourself like a good pizza, or pizza place. And like you made, like you made good pizza, dude. Pizza and poles. Pizza and Pulse. Well, that's it's like just a strip, a strip club. club, but they right. but it's also the Saint the street right. that's not the bad. strippers and the delivery girls. Right. I like this more as a prostitution thing. I feel like strip clubs like the lesser version, and I want to go ham with this. But you don't want so you don't want there to be a brick and mortar. There's no place where you can just pick up pizza. Just pick up a pizza. Maybe get a handy in the back. That'd be all right. I like that because then you just tell like, hey, I'm just picking up a pizza, you know, and we don't have to call it pimping pizza. We could get like a second box. <laughs> Instead of your dad just picking up dinner for the family, you don't want to be as stressed. You can come in, pick up like Dale's pizza, go in the back, you know, quick little handy, get this on sounds, home, nice this, and relaxed. I mean, it sounds. I feel terrible like encouraging this idea but it's the it's, best idea anyone's ever had it would make a lot of money it's a good idea in terms of money and go to a legal place write it down on yourself on your phone and, and, and pizza. You take better it. bungee let's make that better bungee is also good less less uh controversial i'm gonna make way less money but still actually right. maybe make even more who knows no, that's like that's like an inventor thing that like just sticks around forever forever right who do i pitch that to i feel like i can make money with that you know, I've been wondering about this. This is a thing I'm trying to figure out. I think there's like websites and phone numbers where you can call for if you're not a real inventor, if you have right. an invention. And if they like it, they'll just steal it from you. They steal it from you and give you like a small premium. That sounds like bullshit. Wouldn't you like to have $50,000 for a million dollar idea? No. Nah. nah, he's nah, nah. I'd rather just no one gets the money. I, I want like a <laughs> oh, decent percentage funny. or fuck you. That's funny. Well, you pitched me your ideas. I liked two out of three. I got to be honest with you. That was really great. Thank that is that the whole episode? No, that's not the whole episode. Oh, now okay, we're gonna, cool. now we're gonna come up with some of our own collab ideas. We're gonna collaborate. We're gonna collaborate now and try to come up with a product, and then we're gonna plug our stuff and we're gonna get out of here. Okay, cool. I have a girlfriend that you know needs my loving. Right, and I got pizza to eat. <laughs> <laughs> What's a problem that you have in life, Robbie? A problem I have in life. Just any problem. Any problem? I feel like just all of life is a problem. All of life is a problem. <laughs> yeah, just all of it. Just anything like, uh, what would be my biggest problem? I fucking hate working a fucking day job. That would be my biggest fucking problem. Well, to fix that, go for one of these ideas slowly. Right. Okay. Keep your day job. Go for one of these ideas. Yeah, but that's comedy, man. Right. That's kind of rude of me. Is Should your we phone? just pick it up on the pick spot? It up. What is that? Where is my phone? Definitely don't let it keep going. I know I don't know who it is. I'm not answering it. <laughs> Are you like that? I won't answer. Like if I don't know who it is, fuck them. I answer Leave everybody. A message. Answer really? everybody. But then, oh, see, you see, that's like the diff like how nervous my brain is. Like I'm like sure something's horribly wrong. I don't want to know about it, or like someone wants something from me, or I have to say no to someone. That's why I don't like having people I don't say around. no to FIFA. It's hard for me to say no. If you call me and you really right. need something out of me, I will I give you the best alternative if I have to say no. So then wouldn't you just rather not have to be confronted with it so that you don't have to like be suckered in? You know what I mean? So how do we fix that problem? No, that's not a good enough problem. That's not a good enough problem? Oh, like the, the say no? The, no, it's not good enough. How about like... Uh, um, hmm. All right, give me a second. I, I feel like I've got so many problems. Like, if you're like, hey, what's the deal? Like, fuck, what's the problem? What's your biggest problem during the day? Every day to day. A problem that you think other people have as well. Um, furious at work. Furious at work. Yeah, just like, just, yeah, just so mad. I feel like we can invent something to calm people down. A better drug. But that's like too simple. Too simple. There's something else. Everyone's got drugs. Le more of a target audience. It was too vague that time. Too general. A lot of too people general. have that problem. That's true. Right. 
all right, here's one. But I feel like everyone works on this one. I feel like I try and eat healthy, but I, I like I'm so bad at like preparing food in advance, kind of thing. You know what I mean? And then you're like you're just hungry, you end up eating shitty. But everyone, everyone deals with that and works with it. There's enough services on that product. Blue Apron, Tyson yeah, yeah, yeah. Tastemakers. There's, there's enough shit. All of them. There's enough shit. What else do I fucking hate? Doesn't have to be hateful. Just like an issue. Just an issue. Just like a, a thorn in my side. Yeah. All right. Um. There's something that you would like to be easier. Something that you do, it's it's just annoying that it's this difficult for me to do this. What I love about the wake up right is it yeah. fixes the problem of pressing the snooze button. You're going right. to get out of bed because you're, you have to. You're getting forced out of bed. Now. Right. You're taking getting out of bed. You're making it easier. Or more forceful. More forceful. Right. Why well, fucking... I feel like my like my issue like they're they're it's like all mood based. It's all mood based. Yeah, right? it's just like not being in the mood for shit. Like it's that's too like emotional. all of my yeah yeah. I don't have like too many like where like I'm like oh I need like something. I don't know if that made sense at all. You don't need anything. No, I don't, I'm not like a, like a possession kind of guy. It doesn't like look at the way I'm dressed. <laughs> so I'm about business. Another business. You're good at coming up with business models. Yeah, because I can think what other people might need. But this, I got it all figured out, you know? What do yeah, I need? You got it I'm all. Just, I just got it. It's perfect. It's all roses. <laughs> you look like you're right out of the 90s. 1993 dress. Look That's because I haven't updated my wardrobe since then. <laughs> you got it all figured out. the same fucking clothes. You don't clothes. fix what ain't broke. If it ain't exactly, broke, don't yeah. fix it. This is a great style. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, wait, wait. So we're coming up with a new product. It's to fix a simple need. Let's go real simple. Let's start with the fucking morning. So we already got a bed to help you get out of bed. What comes next? You're using the bathroom. That's all pretty simple. Okay. Uh, what's annoying about mornings? All right. When you got a roommate and your roommate's using the bathroom, maybe like a bathroom divider. So like he can be in the shower. The shower's like a separate bathroom. You know what I mean? So it's like if he's in the shower, you could be taking a shit. It's not weird. I like that. Yeah. It's like a fake wall, but that like maybe like inflates becomes like rock solids. So like when he's in the shower, it's like a different room. But why, why couldn't it just be like, uh, oh wait, so how does it work? I don't understand. Well, sorry. if you got a roommate, right? No, sorry. What is the science behind it? becomes rock solid. You blow it up and then it becomes no, rock no. solid. It's, uh, it's gotta be something that like more than just a curtain. Cause if you just have a curtain, it's like, all right, I'm over here taking a shit. He's taking like a shower a over there. Door, like a zip thing. No, but it's got to be more... Plastic. Just yeah, a plastic, like plastic. Door. No, plastic better than that, though. You know, they have, like, pressurized walls in apartments. So I think what it is, it's kind of like a sliding plastic thing. But when it closes into place, whatever's, like, around it, like, really, like, compresses and seals tight. How big is bathrooms to you in New York? How big are these bathrooms? No, I'm talking from the ceiling to where the shower lid is. You get, like, a plastic track thing. You close the thing. But then once you close it, it kind of like expands, it pressurizes. So like this is the guy, too much science. It's too make it simpler. Just why can't it just be a plastic door? Because if it's just a plastic door, you still got that feeling of like I'm showering in here, he's taking a shit over there. Yeah, this is the feeling's gonna be. What are you talking I about? I want to get rid of that. Feeling. I don't want to be in a pressurized shower when I take a shower. I don't want to be like sucked into a pressure Not shower. Not sucked in. I don't understand. There's no Zyklon B. There's no Nazis. You take a shower, <laughs> it becomes a kind of firm wall. It's all, it's brilliant. You take that idea with you, Bernstein. I don't know if I like that idea. All right, fine. So let's solve another another morning problem. Okay, next thing. So you get out of the shower. You take, you're done taking a shit. You're done no, taking he's a shower. taking the shower. I need a shit. That's oh, okay. the issue. That's the issue. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we were trying to come up with a way to divide the bathroom. So it's like two bathrooms, no problem. <laughs> How Simple about? solution would be just, like, have, like, a door that goes... I mean, this would be, like, an apartment design thing. Get, like, the shower's its own, like, room. Like, it's like a door. You just step into the shower, and there's, like, a wall there, and then the rest of the bathroom's, like, separate. You can even make it two doors, so that if you're doing both at the same time... You know what I mean? That'd be pretty cool. How about a fart catcher? A fart catcher? Like, you know, if you're out in public, you can fart, it catches it? But, oh, no, I didn't even think of that. I was thinking, like, you know how hard it is to fart in a jar and give it to somebody? 
Oh, you mean to purposely be like, hey, you got to smell this? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty horrible. Now, was that a problem to you that you were sitting here like, of all the problems in my life, not being able okay. to make someone smell my fart, that's what I got to address. <laughs> no, that wasn't the problem. The problem, okay, what happened was I was thinking, when what's the problem when you go to the bathroom that people hear your farts? You're like, oh, I don't want to fart too loud because people right. are like, I, I fart extra loud and I laugh from the inside and okay. I'm, I'm a psycho. But there are girls who are like, oh, I don't want to fart because, like, what if people hear it? And I was thinking, what would have been a device to muffle the farts from inside the toilet? Too difficult. A but, fart muffler. But then I'm thinking, why don't we just catch farts? And why don't we just, why isn't that just fun enough for gag gifts? A fart muffler. A fart catcher. A fart catcher. Just, but it doesn't muffle anything. It just catches it. it just, can, but it catches the scent of a fart. And you just, and it closes it off real quick, and, and, and then you can give it to someone. You know, it's inter- I remember reading an article um. It, about or you can light them on flyer. Scientists had invented something. It's not like they don't have a product yet, but it's like so you could send smells to someone. It's so like if you're home and you're baking something, you want your husband, you could be like, hey, this is like the smell of dinner. And I was thinking as a joke, like the second that gets made, it's just going to be people sp- sending, sending their farts, of course. Like, right. hey, it's apple pie. And then you go to like <laughs> take the call and it's just like, that's the funniest thing ever. Like that would just be every dude e- like, honey, you got to come home. I just made fresh popcorn. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I give it a week until they get rid of that product because everyone's just sending farts. I agree with you. I do think that is the funniest thing in the world. That is very <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's like you pick it up like an old school telephone, and then every day you're like, not again. <laughs> you just see it like shoot out. <laughs> no. and, then, and then when other people are at your house, you're like, don't pick up the phone. It's like, no. <laughs> or you're like, you're standing next to some guy like old school like phone booths. Like you're like getting like a nice smell, and then you see some guy just like puke. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Okay, so we've done that now. We've caught our farts after <laughs> making the shit right. and taking a shower. Yeah. Brushed our teeth. What are we doing next? We're eating breakfast. I don't really eat breakfast at the house. I I'm, I tend to... Okay, here's... Oh, here's a really simple one. Dude, this is so simple. Okay. And this is going to work, but I might not like it. Okay. Okay, I don't know about you. I'm a little OCD. When I leave my apartment, I'm checking the door. I'm checking yeah. the door three times. I'm leaving my building, convincing myself I didn't lock the door, going back checking it again again you check a fourth time yeah at least really but now what i'm thinking is maybe like a device on your phone when you leave your apartment you're like i totally it just like it it, tells you it just tells you like it's locked you're being crazy like an ocd program to just tell you like hey you're being crazy wow and you could do that for uh hey how's it going you could do that for all sorts of shit that's another product we could fucking sell i'm on fire here (laughs) you are kind of on fire i like that product ocd helper or something she would love that product or it's just called your locking it'd be even better you're fucking crazy and like you can look at it it'll almost help you with your ocd because as badly as you want to check your phone will just tell you hey you're fucking crazy now if you're like me though you're gonna be like hey that phone's lying to me i'm not trusting technology which might just make you more crazy but i think it's a pretty good idea i like the idea Big fan. Boom. Someone hired me to come up with ideas. I hired you to be on this episode of the podcast. That's Doesn't true. that feel good? I, I do feel pretty good about it, this. It's a first step. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any other ideas? I, I feel like I just gave a lot to the world. I feel like the world owes me a debt now. <laughs> Tara, do you have any ideas? I don't know. I haven't thought of anything. Tara thought of a, a blanket that sucks your farts in. <laughs> That's so not that- bad. That so that when she farts at night, I don't know about it. That's good. Well, I you do that. You do that. You know what she does? She farts in the night, and then she wakes herself up with her own farts. And then blames you. And then she goes, huh? Huh? What? Huh? That was the first time that ever happened. Uh, but at least she didn't blame you. Well, I think she was asking what I was saying. That's a I classic. She... Chicks who snore, like, wake themselves up from snoring. and like the... snore. Good for you. You're a real dude. Is there any, and she loves beer and she loves football. All right. Hey, listen, She's you want to get out of here? <laughs> did, you, did you fucking stay away from my girlfriend, Rob? No, wait. What? That? That's a problem. What? Snoring. How can we fix that? Do they have the the strips? But what if it was different? How about musical snores? Ooh. Like what it if, creates music? Yeah. Every time she snores, like, instead of it being like... It's Bach? It's... it's <laughs> <laughs> it's what's like, like a famous Bach thing? I just need like that was a funny guy like name to throw up. But what what's like, like a classic Bach? Mozart. Oh, a classic Bach song. Yeah, Bach did the the Fifth Symphony. The only thing no, no, that's uh, dun, 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 dun. that's not Bach. Yes, it is. 
Uh, maybe. Oh no, that's Beethoven. I thought that was Beethoven. You're right. That's yeah. Beethoven. What is Bach? Bach might I only be minuet. Knew that from a Clockwork Orange when you said the Fifth Symphony. Is Bach minuet? That's a great snoring song. If every time someone snored, you heard that, that'd be hilarious. That would get way more annoying than snoring pretty quickly. I'm I'm already falling asleep. Maybe I'm wrong. I think that's actually pretty great. (laughs) Not a bad idea. The Bach snore? Minuet snore. It'll put you to sleep in a minuet. (laughs) In a minuet. Not bad. Marketing. Snore fixer. Write it down. Did you have fun, Robbie? Oh, I had a great time. (sighs) To go back over Robbie's ideas, he came up with (laughs) the multi-hook bungee cord. No, Finsulin. That was my first idea. Finsulin is not... I'm not keeping it. I get through it I feel like it should at least be on your sheet of products that were pitched. All right. I'll write it down because I like you. Thank you. Finsulin. That's all I ever asked. The better bungee. A multi-hook bungee cord. For all different size bungee needs. Great idea. Great idea. Pimpin' pizza. Best idea ever. Prostitutes bring you pizza. You like that idea? And you're just paying for delivery, so it's legal. <laughs> and you get to go online, pick out your delivery girl. Even in places where prostitution is legal, don't you think people would like order? Sex on the side? That's the point. That's the point. Oh. That's the prostitution part. It's <laughs> like a delivery service. Well, right. It is a delivery service for pizza, but prostitutes bring it, and they also bring it. Interesting. Lady she thinks it's it. a good idea. She hates it, <laughs> no, but she said it's a good idea because there are cameras going, Robbie. Right. That's how things work in this house. And our collab ideas. Oh, I might have ended up outside your camera's view. My bad. Don't worry about it. The okay, You're cool. Crazy Door is Locked app. Yes. And the Minuet Snore Fixer. The problem with that, that's the best I feel all day is when I check that door and they're like, it's locked. And you just, you feel, just so feel good. good. That's, that's the, the best I feel all day. So you yeah. might not I want I want this. someone to take that away from me. <laughs> 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 Robbie, do you have anything you want to pitch? Oh, yeah. Uh, Rob's Newsroom. Check it out. They're I said really pitch funny. to plug. What? Anything you want to plug. I'm sorry. I oh, yeah. Well, I'm fixing just, my own language. I'm going I'm right sorry. to my own. Uh, uh, Rob's Newsroom. It's on uh, YouTube, Facebook. We work really hard on them. They're a lot of fun. I I, I I like them. Check them out. Rob's Newsroom. We should really do an episode of Rob's Newsroom with the diaper thing. With the diaper thing is a man on the street. It wouldn't be a newsroom, but I'd definitely film it. I'd have to think. I I, I say that now. It, like, if I have an idea in my head, I'll think of, like, a way to fit it in. So if it fits in with, like, an episode. Somehow. We should definitely do a man yeah, on that's the street. So, that's the, the gross. Diaper. It's that is so, so gross, gross, and it'll get a lot of views. Yeah, that's so gross. Just the reactions of people in real it's life. It's so gross. Just walking around, a straw coming out of your ass. I mean, oh, would God. you do that? Would you walk around and do I that all I day? Would. I don't know for a whole day, but like... Um, for like a couple hours while I have a camera watching here, you? So here's what I've found from filming. I mean, you don't... I'd have to do it from a distance. I would use a telephoto lens from no, a you distance. you don't have to do it from a distance. You can film it up close with like your phone from anywhere. Like it's not like... Think about it. Like the second... If you're out in public oh, doing true, that, people are going to film it on the phone. So if you're the guy filming it on the phone, the other thing is... I'd want it with good... Here's the other thing is... Quality. That kind of shit. Firstly, I found doing man on the street stuff in New York... No one gives a shit. It doesn't matter how weird you're being. People in New York are so used – they don't pay attention to it. Me and Menuhin once got on a subway. I was, like, pretending like I was um, trying to recruit people to the Oregon militia. I was on a subway. And we're just filming. No one no one looked at – like, you can do anything anywhere. And well, I feel like that – you're walking around, no shirt, no right. pants, in a diaper, just shoes, right. diaper – Right, so I drinking like your you own shorts. You think no one's gonna be grossed out when you're drinking your own shorts? Oh, of course they will. But I feel like the way to do that, you do it in shorter. Like you go to like public places, you kind of wear a robe, you take off the robe, you sit down, you walk around for five minutes, you get the take, then you take a break. Like you kind of do it like that. I don't think you just walk I think, around. For I think this is what we do. I think we yeah. Do, yeah we do short takes like that. We get a bunch of different. We get six cartons, right? So we right. get six takes. Right. We go to six different public locations, places, yeah. locations, and you yell out. Hey everyone, I'm drinking my own shorts, and then you just drink it. <laughs> no, I think I, I don't think you want to be that dumb, right? You just want like people to be like, "What?" The, and you go, "It's fucking delicious." You want to try it? Like you, I think like you got to be more. You're gonna be with subtle it. with it and just yeah, walk around you, and tell people be, it's delicious. I think you'd be subtle with it. Like you just like do it. Like people start like looking. You're like, "It's fucking delicious." You want to try this? You just be like, "Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah. so good." <laughs> oh my god, someone get me some cookies. <laughs> That's so yucky. Oh god. Oh, Robbie, thanks so much for being here. No, What's you're your the Twitter? best, man. Uh, Robbie the Fire. I don't really use it though. You newsroom don't use is the it. place to check me. Rob's Newsroom. At Rob's Newsroom. 
Or no, just I'm, on it's not YouTube. Even, I, just go to YouTube. Just type in Rob's Newsroom. I have a website, but I don't put the episodes on there because I'm an idiot. Okay. But you can go to the website. You might like it. You can put, you know, you can put a YouTube playlist, and you can put all your videos in one playlist on YouTube. Put that playlist on your website. All your videos are now viewable on your website in one spot. That's brilliant. I got to do that. Boom. Why didn't you pitch me on that idea? Just to help you out. All right. That's I'm what I'm that. here for. YouTube I'm here, I'm here to make on my website. going to make that happen. I'm here to make things nice for you, Ravi. You All right. This find, was awesome, dude. You can find me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore McStevie. Please pitch me your silly ideas. I'll give you a mention on the show. Thanks again for being here, Robbie. This has been Shark Tank. <laughs>